Hey guys, and welcome back to the Critter Crochet channel. Um, it's been a little bit, it's been about a week since I did my last video, but it's not my fault. I spent the last week um, sick in bed. I had a cold, and I have been just chilling and trying to feel better, and I do. Um, I was going to do it a few days ago when I did feel better, but my voice was still recovering, and I think it still is. I still have a sinus issue. So, sorry about that. <laughs> and I just got out of the shower, so excuse the wet hair. Um, today we're doing another pattern review. You guys seem to really like those, and I enjoy doing them. So, um, today's pattern review is actually of one of my favorite patterns that I've ever done. And it's also a paid pattern. I got it on Etsy. And I have the pattern right here to go through a step by step with you guys. And yeah. So today's pattern review is about Mr. Bill the Pineapple? Yes, Bill the Pineapple. Um, if you've seen my Instagram or anything, I think I just called him Mr. Pineapple, but I have personally named mine Pablo the Pineapple, but the pattern is of Bob the Pineapple. That was a lot of pineapples, I'm sorry. So take him in. He's adorable. I love him. He's, he's a little small. He's a little smaller than the size of my head. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this pattern. I loved it, and if I could use one word to describe it, it was very satisfying. And I'll get more into why that is. Um, so like I said, this is a paid pattern. I found it on Etsy about four years ago, because story time. <laughs> um, about three or four years ago, there was a time when me and my sister were obsessed with pineapples for some reason, and I think it's because of the show that we like to watch, which is called Psych. And that show really, I don't know why, I was obsessed with pineapples, so me and my sister loved pineapples, and every once in a while I'll treat myself to a paid pattern. Uh, usually I'll purchase them on Etsy, so I was on Etsy and I saw him and I was like, oh my gosh, he's so cute, I want him, so I got it. Um, the pattern is $5. It's from a shop called Hookabee, and the owner's name is Megan Barclay. Um, I will have her shop linked below. Uh, go check it out. It has a lot of cute and uh, affordable patterns on there. So, yeah. I also bought another pattern of hers um, of a strawberry, blueberry, and raspberry. It was like a three-pack. I have yet to make them. I bought the pattern around the same time I bought this one. But I think I'm going to do those soon and then do another review of those. So I love her shop. It's really cute. And yeah, this is one of the best pineapple patterns that I think I have ever seen. Um, but there are a few other pineapple patterns that I would like to do. Like I see those um, people are making like purses that look like pineapples and things like that. And I would love to try those one day. So yes, I have the pattern right here. Um, to go through it with you guys. So the first thing we'll be talking about are the materials that you need. Um, the only thing you need for this pattern are is yarn in brown, green, and yellow. You only need a little bit of brown, probably need the most of yellow, and then, or maybe not, I don't know, green and yellow. A 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn or tapestry needle, Two 15 millimeter plastic safety eyes. I did not use 15 millimeter safety eyes. I used ones that are a little smaller because A, I liked the look of it more, and B, they're what I had on hand. And stuffing and a stitch marker. So nothing fancy, uh, very basic materials for this pattern. So I'm sure you guys have leftover yellow, green, brown that you can just use. It's nothing you have to go to the store for, so that's nice. Um, she used Cascade yarns, 100% wool. I used acrylic worsted weight yarn um, in Red Heart Super Saver for the green and the brown, and then I used Craft Smart, I believe, for the yellow because it's what I had in my yarn bin. So, yes, you don't need to use the wool yarn that she used. It'll come out perfectly fine if you use acrylic yarn, or I'm sure if you use any other kind of yarn, like cotton. Um, that would actually be kind of cool. 
Someone make this out of cotton yarn and let me know how it goes, because that would be kind of cute. All right. So the finish size is approximately six inches. Um, I would say that this is about six inches. Uh, I don't have my measuring tape on me right now. And the skill level, she put it as intermediate. Now, I am a person who believes that any level of crochet can do any pattern that they put their mind to. Um, I don't really like to pay attention to the skill level because I've done patterns that consider themselves intermediate or even advanced, and I would consider them more like advanced beginner instead of like taking it to the next level. Um, I think if you are a beginner, you should challenge yourself, go outside your comfort zone. Um, but I, I would say she is more accurate about the intermediate of this one. The only reason is because you're working in back loops a lot, which is what creates these lines that you see. Like, um, yeah, so you just work in the back loops to create these lines. And then the stitch used for the body, I believe, is a bobble stitch. Yeah. So you're literally doing only bobble stitches around for the body. Now, if you've never done a bobble stitch, you don't know what a bobble stitch is. Um, it's not a hard stitch to learn, but it is a stitch you have to learn. <laughs> um, if you would like to learn it, I actually have done a section of this in my stitch dictionary on my website at crittercrochet.com which has step-by-step -step instructions and then a video if you guys learn better by video. So if you'd like to learn the bobble stitch, then go check that out. But yeah, um, this pattern does also deal with color change. Um, if you are a beginner, that might be something you're not familiar with, but it is something that's very easy to do. I'm actually planning on doing a blog post about color change very soon. Um, it's in the works, and I hope to have it out by next week. Um, that will have pictures and everything about color change. Color change is not that hard, but it's something that you have to learn. So, yes, I, I would put this more on the intermediate side of advanced beginner, but if you're a beginner and want to try this out, go for it. Like, try it out. You never know. So, yes. And I would say this pattern is very descriptive. Um, I've had pattern, like there's lots of pictures in this pattern, which is great. I love patterns that have pictures because they really show you what the designer is trying to tell you. And she also very uh, explains the photos very well. I've seen patterns where they throw in pictures because they think, oh, this will tell them what to do. But you also have to describe what you're showing in the picture. And I think this designer does it very well. She's also very clear about what steps to do when, um, like when to attach the safety eyes, which is very nice. I've had some patterns that just leave you hanging about the safety eyes. You're like, yeah, put safety eyes in there, and then they don't tell you what rows or how many stitches between. Um, so you work the body first. You work from the base here, the brown, and then you work up. You later attach the, yes, so later on you attach these leaves right here. Now, the reason I would call this pattern very, very satisfying is because as I was doing the leaves, it was very nice to just have, I know that's supposed to have the right amount of stitches for the leaves, but when once you finish that last leaf, you're like, man, that's satisfying. And it's the same way she did the top leaves, which was actually really clever. So she had you do the same thing you did on the bottom with working in the back loops. And then she has you make all these. I think you make, hold on. Yeah, you make four short ones, two mediums, and one tall one. And you work around in size sewing them. So, and it has like the perfect amount of stitches so it's actually very simple and very easy to follow along with the sewing of these. And I loved that part of this pattern. It was very nice. And I'm not going to show you anything of the pattern, but like you can see, she's very descriptive about the photos. And she even like color coordinates the stitches that you need to work in and everything. 
and she's very descriptive of how to finish off and everything like that. So I 100% recommend this pattern, especially if you're a pineapple fruit lover, anything. He's adorable, fun to have around the house. Um, he's very structurally durable. Um, so yes, if you want to give him to children, just be aware of like the safety eyes. Um, I recommend giving toys with safety eyes to children four and over. Um, just because they are secure to the fabric, but you never know. They can come undone. And yeah, oops, I almost dropped him. So this is Bill. Um, yes, this designer is very thorough with her patterns, very descriptive. Um, even though I would consider it more intermediate, I think beginners wouldn't have too much of an issue with this pattern because of how descriptive it is, um, how clear the photos are and how she describes them, and as well as the placement and sewing of the leaves and everything. Uh, the bottom leaves are worked into the back loop, so you crochet them onto this, but the top ones are sewed on. So the top leaves are pretty much the only sewing part of this pattern. You're going to learn that I love patterns that have little to no sewing. Um, I actually have a book. I forget who the art or the, <clears throat> excuse me, I forget who the designer is. But at some point, I'm going to start doing book reviews, and I think when I do the book reviews, I'll do a book giveaway, so look out for that. <laughs> um, but that, that book has, it has like a whole section dedicated to no-sew patterns, and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen and the coolest thing I've ever done. Because I'd never done a no-sew pattern. It was so nice. The finish was very clean, and I loved it. And yeah. Since these are the only things that are sewn, and she describes it so well, it was almost effortless. It was very easy to do. And yeah, I think it was a smart idea going with the bottle stitches. It gives him that texture of a pineapple. Um, and I've even, I've posted him on Reddit and everything. People are like, what is that stitch you use for the body and things like that? It's just a bottle stitch. Um, but I like the way that she did it and constructed it. So highly recommend this pattern. Go check out her shop. It is Hookabee on Etsy. H-O-O-K-A-B-E-E, -E, all one word. And um, the name on the shop was Megan Barclay, so I believe her to be the designer, so all credit to her and everything like that. And yeah, I hope you guys like him. And um, if you aren't planning on purchasing the pattern, just go check it out. It's Like I said, it was $5. Um, I think it's worth the money. I've made at least five of these now. And I think he's up on my Etsy as a major order item at the moment. I'm not sure. If not, I am planning on putting him up, but I believe he is. Um, so if you guys don't feel like crocheting him or buying the pattern, I'll make you one. <laughs> and yeah, if you check out my Etsy page, it is the Critter Crochet Shop on Etsy. I do all made to order items there, um, both of other people's patterns and of my own. I also have a blog that you can go check out for the written pattern reviews of some previous pattern reviews that I've done on YouTube. It is crittercrochet.com. I do all kinds of crochet reviews. I have a stitch dictionary there that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete some stitches. And I also have my free patterns up there. All the patterns I've ever designed are up for free. Um, so go check them out. I have a few of my critter ones and I have a Patrick Star hat and all things like that so yes if you would like to support me or my small business I'll have all of my socials linked below I have an Instagram Pinterest Ravelry like I said Etsy I'll have my blog linked below I also recently got a TikTok because everyone was telling me to get a TikTok and it's actually kind of fun uh, so go check it out and on to the last part of my video where I tell you guys what I'm doing in my world of crochet or what projects I might be working on. So a few months ago, I got this squishy stress ball shark thing, and he's become one of my favorite like stress toys. I just love squeezing him because he's a slow rise. I'll take him on car rides with me, I'll take him on plane rides, um, 
pretty much every time I leave the house, I keep him in my purse. So he's always with me. I love him. So the other day I was sitting on the couch and I was talking to my boyfriend. I was like, man, I want to crochet my take on my like stress toy. So this is how it came out. <laughs> um, he's supposed to be a shark. I know he looks a little bit whale slash shark, but I thought he was cute. I embroidered his little nose and his little gills and everything, and then there's the tail on the back. So, yeah. His name is Sully. Um, that's what I named my stress toy, so this is what I named him. And I finished him yesterday, and I hope to have the pattern up sometime this week or next week. I'm not very sure. And... So, my boyfriend accidentally found out what his anniversary gift is, which is the big project that I t have been talking about in some previous videos. I'm not going to show you guys because he's not allowed to see it until it's done. Um, but it is a giant octopus. Um, if you guys know, one of my favorite designers is Projectarian. And I actually did her Hubble the Squid pattern as a pattern review in my last video. So I've been working on that. It's called Apollo the Octopus. And yeah, I hope to have it done within the next few weeks because our anniversary is within the next few weeks. And yeah, I'm going to do a whole video on it because it's been a lot to do. It's a big project. It's like working on an Afghan and it's going to be cool. I'm really excited. So yeah, that's about all that's been going on in my crochet universe. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, rest of your week. Good luck on any projects that you may be working on. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like. And if you liked me or my channel, then consider subscribing. subscribing. <laughs> and yeah, until the next video, bye guys.